usually my policy about fixing things is if it's something that just the players not trying to speedrun might um, make might encounter, then it's worthwhile fixing. But if the likelihood for that to happen is just very low, like it's okay. I mean, speedrunners can have their fun. Okay, hello everyone. Here's Felix, also known as Luxen. I'm the co-founder and game designer slash creative director of CrossCode. And with me here in the voice chat are Stefan and also Teflora. Hello. Hi. Okay, I mean, you can quickly introduce yourself as well, of course. Um, I'm, I also worked on this game, mainly on like area environment design, menus, uh, our coding adventures. Yeah, and I'm the sound designer for the game. Not the music, right. though. <laughs> yeah. And together, we are now watching one of those speedruns for CrossCode, any percent. And as you can see, so far, everything seems rather normal. We are just skipping quickly through the intro, just playing Shizukar, as you're supposed to in this part. And um, obviously, all the details are optimized, but we didn't see any weird glitches so far. Um, just going fast. <laughs> I am told this will change now. So. Yeah, it will change pretty radically right about now, because now what happens is um, certain safe glitches are used. And something you might see is that you actually have certain pop ups that you get from confirming a save left open if you, as you exit the save menu. And somehow they actually make this use this to kind of merge serve safe states. Um, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I still don't fully understand how exactly that works. I mean, I can see how the bug might occur. It's just that two prompts happen exactly at the same time. Essentially, you have the menu and you exit and you there enter right at the same time. And then suddenly you are playing the game as the wrong character. So, She's yeah, a right. with all elements, level yes. 60 or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, no, it's even worse. She actually is level one, but oh. her stats are just equivalent <laughs> to level 60, <laughs> not <laughs> county equipment. So this is like the, the perfect character to beat the game quickly, obviously. So, um, you mean you have like very high stats from the get go. And then all you have to do is essentially just skip through it by equipment you get just stronger and when you level up you also get even stronger so yeah i mean that's essentially Wait, what's, what's the happening heck? here where was he <laughs> yeah no, they How also you teleport to the end that's another thing they do with the safe uh, skip as far as i know like um they kind of like go to the previous room and they kind of like memorize the teleport position which is the oh, the, the end room to Yes, the label, and then they kind of like transfer this teleport label to the next room, and that's why they're suddenly in the end of the room and just they, they just skip the puzzle essentially. Yeah, so. because we, con we conveniently name those labels f the same for each room. Yeah, I do this especially <laughs> in dungeons. It's, it's always named entrance and exit, and uh, yeah, so that's why so, this trick sometimes works. Sometimes it's, it's south and north, and that's yeah, that, that, right? that comes from me. I always. I say north, south, and or I tell, call but them top one. But I'm not joking. One. They even went so far moving through several maps just to be able to transfer the right exit label from one room yes. to the next room. You can do it they several did, times in a row. Yes, you can do that. <laughs> you can just transfer the label through the several connected rooms until you are in the right map. And then you can use the, the exploit. It's anyway, ridiculous. so... Yeah, this is cross code. This is the first boss, by the way. Yeah, in, this is the in first boss. Four minutes. And you still cannot damage it because that is one of these bosses where you actually have 0% damage when you attack it outside of the weak, fa weak phase. So they even have to wait <laughs> as Jesus Christ, who just gives it just one hit. Oh no. Um, <laughs> in fact, <laughs> yeah, you, can actually still, you can even have a level up pose, fortunately. I mean, it's kind of like. It's very fortunate for them that this actually works and it, does, it doesn't crash, you know. Um, 
But I mean, it's just recolored Leia sprites, but still, it works. Um, okay, then that didn't make sense, so they can just teleport to the entrance, a uh, teleporter room. Yeah. That at least makes sense to me. They, they also can teleport like between saves, so they can use one room from one save, change the save file, and use that room to teleport there. I, think. I mean, that's essentially how they got Shizuka out of uh, yeah. mm -hmm. out of the intro. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very ridiculous. <laughs> uh, here it happens again. So you just save and you load, and suddenly you're at the end of the room. Or yeah, essentially they also skip certain upgrades because it just takes too long to get those upgrades. I guess. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, no we menu. Could also, um, talk about the the jump, the jumps. Right. I mean, something you can hear, see here is like back at the time when speed running for Crosco was still very innocent. You just had like the um, attack, cancel, dash cancel, um, jump attack, jump, dash cancel, jump attack, dash cancel. That's what it's called. So essentially, you can just jump. Uh, in mid jump, you can use attack or you can use guard too and then following that you can actually dash while jumping which is usually not possible and when you use this very quickly you can actually jump further that is an issue that we actually found pretty early i think even before early access i think we figured this out but we just decided to leave it in um, because we thought well it's actually not that easy to pull off and it's an interesting technique <laughs> That you can use I, think, to... I think we nerfed it a bit. I think it was um, the the dash was going very far at, at, at first. I actually don't remember nerfing that at all, honestly. No, no, but I'm we not didn't sure. Nerf it. We didn't nerf it. I don't know. We oh, just okay. left it as okay. it was because fortunately it wasn't <laughs> not <that> implemented. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, not for Shizuka anyway. <laughs> That's actually interesting. <laughs> you know, like the skill data, I think, is. Oh no, wait. That's actually weird. I thought it would be independent of the player, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, no, anyway. well, no. We, we changed that. We, we had it in the skill tree, I think, but then we moved the description for skills into the um, player uh, files. Oh, and that's why there's no no description because yeah. the player is different. Because I, oh I, for some reason, I made a check that mm -hmm. if no description is given, it doesn't crash, it just says not implemented. Yep. And now we arrived in Rumble Square. I'm wondering if they do this uh, nice skip where they essentially just go to the finest city right in the beginning to get the best equipment. Uh, okay. I mean, actually what you see there is interesting. They just went there to fetch a chest and apparently that's something that's really worthwhile because certain items are just really useful either to get some buffs or to just to sell them. I mean, that's essentially what speedrunners do. They yep. actually know it happens, right? You see there, we are in the beginning of the game and this is now the final city of Crosscode. And obviously <laughs> what they just did is, oh yeah, here comes the next glitch, the, the big one, oh, uh, infinite selling sell items. <laughs> yes. Um, so that's why they need those fruit drinks, you know, they need something to sell. So they can sell uh, like an infinite amount or, or as much as they want. And now they're just going to buy a more expensive item and keep selling. I didn't like fix that. Uh, no, I don't think so. Is this an old version? Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I never saw this, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> I think maybe, it's we... a, maybe it's a good thing you didn't. You yeah, I mean, like just... now I just leave it in. Why not? I mean. Uh, to be perfectly honest, they, just, they don't use the up-to-date version anymore anyway. They yeah. use an old version. So even if you fix it, it wouldn't uh, so matter that much. I think all these menu glitches are like frame perfect. I mean, mm. um, it's not I... super hard because you basically have to um, press two buttons, I think, at the same mm. time. So it's it's not something that usually player will encounter, and it also took a long time until speedrunners yeah, it's a, found it's a this issue. Specific, I mean, it has uh, been there from the very beginning, so I'm not that concerned. Usually, my policy about fixing things is if it's something that just uh, players not trying to speedrun might um, make might encounter, then it's worthwhile fixing. But if the likelihood for that to happen is just very low, like it's okay. I mean, speedrunners can have their fun and. 
as long as in quotation marks normal players <laughs> he, he calls quote, that split unquote, dauntingly safe fix <laughs> <laughs> yeah just... they just they're gonna use the safe stuff to, to fix the safe i guess um wait so but now Leah they're back on now. Leah, so they can get the, the um, attacks. Uh, no, he does this, this thing where he just dashes through. Yeah, I know. All right, that, yes. The, mm. I saw that he, he made a clip of that, or someone made a clip of that. Yeah, essentially now they're yeah. using a tutorial to get through a barrier, essentially. So just dashing into the barrier, making sure that the tutorial is enabled, and then the <laughs> tutorial wow, okay. just makes you jump <laughs> through the barrier. So. Wow. I mean, whenever I implemented those tutorials, that always happened. Whenever you learn the skill, I already knew, man, this might get things into trouble, but let's just do it and see what happens. And, you know, for the most part, nothing serious happened, but obviously speedrunners would use that. Fun um, fact uh, about the item he just used. This is one of our backer items. Hmm. They, tend, they tend to be uh, stronger than most items because they... The buffs are decided by the players, and usually players tend to give themselves. Uh, That's true, but I mean, edge. we also we also balance things. But to be fair, but yeah, I mean, the idea was like if it's backer items, if it's their reward, it should be the good items. So, like, it's like a better reward for them. Mm. You don't want to give uh, like those reward items. Um, make them the low tier items that nobody uses i think that was so kind of the wondering, idea. what's the um what's the main task here in sapphire's rich now i get the impression <laughs> is just just grinding i mean that's it looks like it to me um he's getting a lot of xp so it makes yeah, sense yeah. like uh, i mean obviously the character is level one even though it doesn't look like it um, so obviously we'll, you level up fast and you know do get a good amount of stat stat increases i guess but you also get um the circuit points which i think yes. are the big, I think it's, the big this thing might, oh, this might be about uh -huh. circuit points you want but you want you want the, this this um you he probably goes for ether snipe and uh the level three frozen star now the thing is though, Shizuka actually doesn't have those combat arts. That's a big downside of playing Shizuka. There's only like three or four combat arts that are actually implemented for her. Um, and I think you have them by default. Oh, the one she uses in her duel? Yeah, like in the uh. intro, like uh, the, um, what is it? Um, um, Ragnarok. The Ragnarok combat art is something she has. And apart from that, she doesn't have many combat arts, but you know, her stats are so powerful, it doesn't matter that much, I think. Maybe so he's still... going to switch over to Leia again, somehow, and then it makes sense. I'll see the smoke. I guess we will see. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, crushing our bugs. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like, literally bug crushing. Yeah, those samurais <laughs> are supposed to be bugs. I mean before they take their sword and attack you. Um, but yeah, you know, like the, the sad part of all the speed run kind of like is, I mean, it's any percent. The goal is to beat the game as fast as possible. So obviously you skip just whatever you can skip. And that's why you essentially you don't see any dungeon in this, in this run, as far as I know. Um, so because you do have all the elements. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh I see. I see you. Okay. So they see, just see, really... He's fixing. How did he get there? <laughs> we, we added something um, for early access players to basically fix their saves and put them... Oh, gosh. <laughs> to the, uh, right in front of the... Uh, yes. Bo uh, right. Important boss fight. Mm, that's 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 perfectly right we did that so because some saves might have been broken um, essentially you could beat the game during early access just doing a lot of dungeons and getting in areas very far without progressing the plot because we wanted to progress we wanted to add the plot in one of in the last update essentially so to make that work we actually added this fix so people could be set back um, so they essentially are 
back to the right point in the plot, which is exactly this fight. Um, and um, then the story continues, just like this. And yeah, I can already see with with what um, what we've seen so far how he's kind of uh, breaking out of the constraints of this part of the game mm -hmm. and skips right to the end, which is sad. Yeah. Like, oh man, so many cool um, <laughs> yeah. boss fights. You know, like Apollo, he doesn't exist. Like yeah, literally, he... you don't see him. <laughs> there's, there's no Apollo. You no, see no, him no. at the end. You saw him very briefly. Yeah, in the mm -hmm. beginner's bridge. All right, yeah, you see him briefly there, but obviously it skipped. <laughs> and I mean, there's this blonde guy, but you have no idea who that is. Yeah, who, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> so now we are in the first Vermilion dungeon. And now a lot of safe magic is happening again. And then... You enter again. And now we are in the final dungeon of the game. There you go, because, you know... <laughs> It's actually literally the same building. You enter it two times in a game. It's two different dungeons. So, Wait, how, um, how did you? Is, is this like two teleport markers that you? It's actually the first time you enter. It's a cutscene, so that's why it actually doesn't use the proper teleporter. And the, oh. the first time you enter, you're closed in. You cannot leave again. So that's why it works. But now this time, um, when when you entered the dungeon once and then you managed to enter it the second time, you're automatically in the final dungeon. So mm -hmm. that's what they do. <laughs> wow. Okay. And gotta restart again. Closing the game completely. Okay. I don't know, this might be because it might crash at times. Because partly because of what they do, but partly because it's not WebKit and you know they are just going so far through the areas that the garbage collection might be overwhelmed with that. <laughs> um <laughs> But I'm not entirely sure to be honest. Anyway, so now a lot of stuff is happening again. I'm not exactly mm -hmm. sure why they're doing this now again. Uh, and yeah, it turns out you're back oh, wow. there. <laughs> I and you, know, wow. you, you could actually do that, right? You don't even need to go. It just... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, no this is boxes. going so fast. <laughs> mm-hmm. Restarting the game. Oh, so I, I think I understand I understand why he needs to reload. It would crash. The dialogue box would probably crash. Not really. No, I think the reason he did that because he needed that combat art. Seersaur. Shizuka cannot use that combat art. So they temporarily moved back to Lear to actually use that combat art to hit those switches behind the fence. Wow. No, no, I mean, I mean he, need, he needed to close the game when he switches those states. Ah. And... You have multiple dialogues box open. It might be that there are some references oh. that are null and would crash the game. That, that, that might be mm -hmm. it. Yes, right. Because you know those those save boxes, they're not gonna go away when, you, as long as you don't re reload the game. That makes sense. And they rely on some some data I, I that I definitely didn't null check, and that it would probably crash. Yeah, or maybe they cannot do certain things like, I think they literally cannot press, press submit because whenever they would press the submit button, they would confirm this dialogue and that's still in the background. So they can do mm. whatever as long as they don't press the submit ah. button. So and when they really have to press submit, they probably have to restart the game. So they don't mm. press those uh, pop-ups in the, in the background that you don't mm. see. So I would guess that might be an issue here. And they can also not press enter while hovering over. Yeah, like everything that might lead to confirming this cannot be used. Damn. Okay, anyway, so now we like are I, the... I, we, we know of, of this person, Symphonia 46, mm. uh, uh. but I wasn't aware that he like... It's just crazy. <laughs> it's, like, it's, <laughs> it's not just about his glitches. I mean, this player is incredibly skilled. Like, uh, whatever he does is like, it's really, really fast. Um, mm. I, I follow him on Twitch, actually, and uh, see... I often see him just grinding this game and speedrunning it. Mm -hmm. um, I never watched a, a whole speedrun in like one or two years, I think. So yeah, there's a lot of new stuff. 
in there. I remember the the um, frozen star times, mm. where, where they basically used um, frozen star to quick kill all the bosses. Mm, I mean, I think I it's. Like I like the pattern uh, is going he uh, here because usually you have to do like two rounds mm. um, of the turret, and but yeah, you if you type them. if you manage to somehow defeat the next turret, um, you can just kill all the turrets at the same time because uh, whenever you you kill a turret, you get like the element that you need for the turret next to you, and then essentially. I'm not exactly sure how they did this. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> it is very fast. Yeah. Very impressive. And done. Right, <laughs> and okay, you now cannot you skip one... this puzzle. So this might be <laughs> one of the few puzzles that you actually have to do in this run. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Yay, one puzzle. <laughs> it's also the most favorite puzzle of the game. Everybody loves this puzzle. So, I like that he's so fast that he just has to wait. <laughs> yep. I actually was generous enough to make the time so you cannot... I think it's almost impossible to solve this puzzle too fast. You can be too slow, but if you're too fast, it's not an issue. Um, so it's not like uh, some barriers that are temporary opened might close before the ball reaches them. So. I guess that's good for them. And yeah. Now, did he even switch the positions of those? Nope. They're, they are correct from the start. Yeah, okay. I, I think that's. I just left it like this. I thought I'm, I'm not going to be that mean. Because just imagine some players doing the whole thing and then they reach this part and it doesn't work because they forgot <laughs> it, to. It actually some players off because they changed it and then. then uh... Oh no, okay. <laughs> that actually did happen. I wasn't aware of that. Uh -huh. Okay, so last mass fight. So one third of the speedrun is just for the end boss. Yeah, it is. Because, you know. Yeah, you can't, you can't. Uh, you cannot, your way you cannot it. skip the final end boss. Um, the final end boss. The, the, yeah, the final. Well, you know. The final end boss. Of, of the end. Of the end. You fight him last, by the way. Yes. <laughs> There's no boss after that. No more it's bosses. Also boss. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they just know where all the enemies will spawn, obviously. Like, have you ever asked yourself, like, we call those enemies bosses, which also, which kind of also already means, like, the highest hierarchy from your point of view. Mm. And then we have final bosses, which are like <laughs> even stronger <laughs> bosses. Imagine and then there the are also... company has a final boss. <laughs> and also, <laughs> most importantly, you know, secret bosses. You should, you should just make a company structure where you don't have CEO, but the final boss. That sounds much, <laughs> sounds much better, actually. <laughs> well, that's, that's uh, definitely going on our um, idea list. Yep. <laughs> All right, so here we go. That's like the first phase of the final boss fight. They actually do some... There's a lot of nice, clever tricks with this boss fight when you fight with Lair. Uh, with Shizuka, it's pretty well, you know, just hit them because you don't have combat arts. But stuff they do is actually... They use, I think, Ether Snipe to actually snipe at him as he is trying to hit... Um, and like uh, hitting down those um, the crown essentially. So during this attack, they kind of like snipe him with Ether Snipe to interrupt him and just go to the next phase immediately. That's so much damage. He's not even in the in the weak phase. <laughs> yep. I mean, oh. that's, th that's that B um, that beat um, item. Yeah, it's just know. very very good for for uh, damage. Oh. Okay, it's working now. All right. Like, Almost there. He's just slamming uh, the stage. That's that's the only thing he's doing. 
I mean, it's like, because because you you are, probably um, can't you, you can't die in this fight. Like it's very difficult to actually die with Shizuka um, in this battle. Also, he he counts the grounds every time you remove uh, a bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. <laughs> Just so fast. Doom. Doom. Yeah, and this boss fight is kind of mean because like there's a, a whole damage scaling going on later and yeah, no amount of strength and uh, attack power will make that a lot quicker. So I guess that's why this fight still takes a long time because you cannot skip too much with the final boss fight. That really was intentional. I mean, we just wanted to have a certain mechanic of the game happen again here, so... Also, we wanted that epic gamer moment. Yes, we wanted large damage numbers because we like those. <laughs> Is he just Very face tanking time. every attack? Yeah, I mean, again, you, <laughs> you pretty much can't die. And yeah, it's like... This Not the first stats, no. Yeah. You might even have some oh. recovery, I'm not sure, but... Like some regeneration. But yeah, well, you get HP regenerated with each phase anyway, so... I guess that's sufficient. Another one. Another. Yeah, it's it's actually really interesting to um, to see how all the the routing and um, strategies and methods changed over the years for crosscode speedrunning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speedrunning used to be so much about beating dungeons fast, and to be honest, there's a lot of really really cool. Uh, skips that do not make yes uh, use of those safe glitches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's can, kind of like I... a shame you don't see those. But you know, <laughs> those speed runs they take still like two to you can, about you can one see half those hour or something. In, uh, glitch list. Yes, there's a category. So if you like to see some very good dungeon gameplay in Crosscode, make sure to check out the no major glitch glitch uh, category because there they just use basic tricks like uh, these. Um, jump dash cancel thing and all kind of weird tricks to make puzzles shorter but yeah. god damn look at yeah. those numbers if you, if you I, I, I know what he's doing yeah. there. He's, <laughs> he's trying to break him twice yeah that might happen mm -hmm. but i wonder if he can do that with shizuka i want to see how, how they do that So he's he's already in in like the end phase where mm. where we're kind of asking the player to one more time solve a little puzzle to um, <laughs> yes get those attack buffs because crosscode is secretly <gasps> oh okay so you like you break them as you attack uh, the trunk and then you just have another weak phase and mm -hmm. oh okay. They actually managed to skip the HP boost. You see that? Whoa! That's what's okay, happening right? here. Oh my gosh. What That's the actually, hell? yeah, you cannot, I think, I'm not sure if that was fixed in the later version, to be honest. But I guess if you interrupt the boss in just right moment, the, there is no HP boost. And <laughs> obviously the fight is quicker that way because it just, it's just about breaking the. Uh, hitting the trunk breaking it and getting to the face that's all you need to do mm -hmm. otherwise you need to be consistent you always need to break the mm -hmm. you see now that the... and then yeah just yeah, yeah. Damn, um... i see i see it makes sense it makes sense but I'm, I'm i think i fixed that in a later version so that's my maybe why this is based on an older version still but actually not 100 percent sure Yeah. It's gosh damn impressive. Yeah. They really, <laughs> especially since like this is an RPG, right? Yep. You, this is actually an experience where we say like, okay, this is forty hours, at yeah. minimum. Well, thirty to eighty. That's that, that's what it usually takes. So, it's, and most it's... players play much more than that. Yes. And he's just doing this in half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> We took seven years to make this. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, seven minutes just uh, down the train in 30 minutes. 
Well, it, it's a really enjoyable minute. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we gotta be more careful with when you the future games. Doing, doing <laughs> the speedrun, like getting there to to be able to pull it off takes a lot more. Yeah, obviously. That's true. That's true. They all beat the whole game and they know everything about it. It's been a lot of testing also. I mean, um, to be honest, like uh, speedrunning already started during the early access phase. Mm. So that essentially mean, meant that we actually saw speedrunners breaking the game while we were could have potentially fixed a lot of those things, but very often we decided to not do that. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, here we go. 29 minutes, 15 seconds. Wow. Um, okay. Nice. Boss Applause. has been defeated. <laughs> that's the speedrun. 20% cross code. So, very impressive. And now you see like the messed up ending where the wrong character is at the wrong place. You know, that's, that's <laughs> actually an ending of another speedrun where you have <laughs> like a whole party of characters with you during the ending, which is really, really funny. So you can see it's in a different category. Anyway, um, I think that's, uh, we're ready to conclude then. So that's that That was all. That was like a death reacting to his crosscode speedrun. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, make sure to check out all those other crazy categories if that's interesting to you the, there's actually a lot of weird stuff to see in cross code speed running anyway thanks yeah. a lot for watching and listening to us yeah thanks for having, having us <laughs>